the OnePlace Live client allows administrators to build configuration and solution profiles to be deployed to end users. Solution profiles assist in surfacing solutions built in SharePoint and delivering these to where your end users work. The OnePlace Solutions site is used to manage and store settings for OnePlace Live services. And to get started with OnePlace Live, we need to create the OnePlace Solutions site. And this video will show you how. So let's get started. The first step is to download a template and create a site. You're able to download a WSP or template file from our website. This can be found by selecting Support and Resources, Online Help, Installation, Installing Solutions and selecting Install OnePlace Solutions Site. Here you'll be able to download the Sandbox solution. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the Sandbox solution, browse to the SharePoint Admin Center to create a new site collection. Select New for New Site Collection and give the site a title. Under Template Selection, select Custom as we'll add this later. Once you have set the administrator details and storage quota, select OK. Once the site has been created, browse to it. Now we need to add the template, so select Solution Gallery, select Upload Solution and browse to your previously downloaded WSP file. Select OK and then activate the solution. Once the solution has been activated, select Browse in the menu and then select the SharePoint icon to browse back to the site. Here we'll select Custom and then OnePlace Solutions Administration Site. You can set up the groups for this site or use an existing group. You'll note a number of lists have been included in the template. These will be used to configure your OnePlace solution services. Now we just need to connect this site to the OnePlace Live client which is installed on your machine. So copy the site collection URL, browse to OnePlace Live client and paste this into OnePlace solution site URL. Your OnePlace Solutions site has now been created and ready for use. 